Hey, it's Mark from Mailshake here. I am going to walk through quickly how to use this little micro tool we built inside of Google Sheets. So the idea of this is um, it is a tool that helps you search LinkedIn without having to use the LinkedIn search. Because in my experience, LinkedIn search is generally cumbersome and not very easy to use. And if you don't have sales navigator, LinkedIn sales navigator, um, you'll hit your commercial limit relatively quickly. So what I like to do is run LinkedIn site searches on Google with the information that I have and then click into profile straight to Google rather than searching on um, with the LinkedIn search bar. So uh, starting with the first tab, this is if you have someone's name um, uh, and their or their company name, um, you can generate, and let me just paste this here. Uh, this will generate a Google search with the information that you have. So uh, either their name or their company name. There you go. So it searches LinkedIn profiles. That's the slash I in there. And it looks for in the title, in the page title, that name and company name. So right off the bat, this uh, pulled up uh, the right profile without touching the uh, LinkedIn commercial limit. So for this one, we, did, we have their name, but not their company name. So uh, this will do the same thing just without, uh, without that company. Um, so you can run down, add another column, a link to their LinkedIn profile. Uh, and this is useful for Mailshake customers uh, who are building out a sales cadence where um, messaging or connecting on LinkedIn is part of that cadence. So you can either find all the LinkedIn profiles and in your mail merge uh, that you upload to Mailshake, um, have a link to that LinkedIn profile and uh, click right through from the cadence. Or um, this is why I have the raw Google search here. You can, uh, instead of Clicking through first to the LinkedIn profile, creating that column, and then uploading that to Mailshake. You can actually just upload the Google search directly um, and find the LinkedIn profiles uh, within the cadence um, while it's running rather than having to do the whole thing uh, beforehand. Um, so that's why I have the raw Google search here. And yeah, you just run down just like uh, I was showing and should be pretty reliable if you have the right name and the right company uh, pulling up the right um, LinkedIn profile. So that is if you have name and company name. Um, the other way that you can use this tool is if you have um, name or company um, or neither uh, and you also have other pieces of information uh, that you are looking for. So um, as an example, so here we have uh, in the first row, we have a name, but no company name, and we have uh, different areas of expertise for this person. So let's say you met somebody at a networking event, and you know what they do, and you know their name, but you didn't catch their company name. Um, this will generate a Google search similar to the ones that we just saw. Um, but what it's doing is still looking for LinkedIn profiles in the title, uh, looking for the name, and then in the text, of the profile, looking for those keywords that you defined um, in the spreadsheet. So there you go, pulling uh, the right profile right off the bat. And let's say you are looking for all of the sales leaders at a company or um, in any specific role at any specific company, but you don't have any specific names. So what that'll do is do a uh, entitled search of the company name and then an in-text search of the roles. So there you go, Louise, head of sales, Eric, sales development rep, and there you go, JD, another sales development rep. Um, and here's another example of this. You're looking for the, the marketing leaders at Moz, and Christina Mounts is uh, the person it looks like you're looking for. But, um, and then some of the other marketing roles that they have there. Uh, and, but let's say you have no specific company or individual that you're looking for. You're just looking for a role in a location or any number of factors that, uh, that you can find people on LinkedIn. Um, this will generate a search of an empty title search because we don't know their name or company. And then within the text, this will be sales development representatives in Austin, Texas. So click through to a couple of them. You scroll down, 
they all have, they're all sales development reps. You can see they have Austin in the profile. Let's see how accurate this is. There you go. Sales development rep in Austin. Sales development rep in Austin. And there you go. So you can run through the results. So this won't always be perfectly accurate. Um, sometimes people used to live in Austin, for instance, where they used to be sales development reps and Google will pick up uh, results like that. Uh, but it generally will give you a pretty good list of potential prospects that uh, you might be looking for. It doesn't have to be location or role. It can be any piece of information um, with a prospect that, that you're looking for. Uh, one thing to note is this is just if you have these pieces of information. If you have a name and profile and or profile, but you don't have this information, just use the name to profile search because it won't actually generate the search if you don't fill out column C. So let's say I know the name, I know the company, so nothing happens here. There you go. Now it does. But um, you have to fill out column C to generate the search. Um, and those are the two main ones. We have another one here. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you're looking for uh, company uh, LinkedIn pages, you just list in the, uh, the company name or their URL, generate the search. Um, and that's pretty reliable. But uh, yeah, those are uh, the three tabs. And um, if you have any feedback or thoughts, feel free to email me, mark at mailshake.com. Um, happy to make any changes or update this. I want to make sure it's useful for you guys.